Good afternoon. I'll be happy to answer any questions that I can. I know there's a few. Why trade Matt now last draft or next year's draft? Well, first of all, I'd like to wish uh, Khalil well. He was a great player for us, a great person, a great teammate. I did have contact with him yesterday, too, uh, uh, exchanging, uh, you know, our best wishes to him and, and thanking him for being a great Oakland Raider. But um, the negotiation uh, was what it was. It was tough. It was a long process. Uh, we talked about it daily. Uh, we made an offer. I don't believe we were anywhere close to where the Bears were. And uh, the Bears made us an offer that we thought was, was really unique. And uh, very, very tough to say goodbye to a great player. But here we are today. John, why not just wait to see if he would report? We have waited. We waited and waited, and the Rams game was uh, looming. Um, our feeling was, you know, he was not going to report anytime soon. And um, like I said, uh, I, I saw the Redskins go through with Kirk Cousins. It was a long process. Uh, you can wait it out. You can franchise them. You can force them to play. Um, but we made a decision, and uh, we're going to stand by it. Was it tough to come in after the, talking to the guys? Was, did it feel like uh, you had to address that? that yeah, I addressed it with the team. And, uh, you know, he's a, he's, a, he's a great player and a good teammate, and a lot, of, a lot of these guys were very good friends with him. So it was tough, but he's been gone for some time. And like I said, we wish him the best. We have to build this football team. We have a lot of needs, and we'll address them uh, as we see fit. But uh, it's never easy saying goodbye to anybody, especially a great player. I know you made it clear starting at the first press conference that you had here that you want to win in the two years that you're here in Oakland. How does this affect your ability to do that? Well, it was tough. You know, it wasn't my goal to trade Khalil when we got here. One of the reasons I'm here is because of him. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we had a standoff with the contract, and uh, we could not come to terms. And the Bears made us an offer, two first-round draft choices, and um, here we are today. We have to put together a 53-man roster. It's hard. Uh, salary cap issues do exist. And there is an economic part of this thing, too that you have to sit down and study, and you have to get a lot of information from a lot of people to see how it impacts you, a contract of that magnitude. Um, so anyways, I, I can't answer any more questions other than we did the best we could, and uh, we are sorry to see him go. We wish him the best, and we'll have to obviously do, do right with the picks that we did acquire. And the players on this roster got to step up. In the locker room, though, in terms of how they responded when you addressed them and told them, "This is why we did what we did." Well, I'm not going to ever speak for our players. You know, you're going to have to ask them. <clears throat> excuse me for yourself. Um, I'll just let you let it go with that. I think there's obviously some surprise, some shock, but deep down, I think some people uh, realized it was a tough, long, drawn-out negotiation, and uh, at the end, something had to happen. You said the Bears went above what you your offer was, what way above perhaps. Was it a case of you wouldn't go to that number or you couldn't go to that number? I'm not going to get into the negotiation. Reggie and, and, and Tom Delaney and the people that were negotiating were involved in that. Uh, I know there's you know, maybe some feeling that I was involved on a day-to-day -day negotiation. I, I had nothing to do with it. So uh, we, were at a, we were at a standoff, and um, something had to happen, and uh, here we are. Point that when you've got a quarterback making as much as you do, you can't bring in another contract that's comparable. It just doesn't. Well, I don't. I don't know how, how many teams have done that. You know, I don't know how many teams done. It. You know, Aaron Donald got signed. They're not. They don't have a quarterback that has been redone yet. Uh, I think the Bears made this trade. Trubisky's still on his rookie deal. It's tough when you have two players that are uh, the highest paid, arguably, or close to the highest paid at their positions. So the economic part of it certainly weighs in. We've got free agents on our team that are going to be to, to be next year. We've got to find a way to bring them back. Um, so you got to field a 53-man roster, and there, there are some imp implications uh, of having two players making that much money. That's no mystery to anybody. Do you feel Reggie was truly on board with trading him, or do you feel maybe you had... You know, you know, they're, they're trying to divide us. People are trying to divide us, and, and I wanted him gone. He wanted him here. You know, we made a, we made a decision as an as a organization. Mark Davis, Tom Delaney, we all got the information, and um, we made a decision together. 
And I, I, I'll just say what he said. I read what he said yesterday. It's, 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 an, it's a decision that we all came to. Last formal offer, exchange of offers might have been in February. Was there a mystery to the situation, though? If this was not going to be a deal you could make, why not make that decision in February, March, and trade them in April? <laughs> why? Why would we do that? I don't understand why we would do that. Your picks would have been drafted in April. You would well, have you, you don't know if you can get those picks. You know, you don't. You're not. We're trying to negotiate a contract to keep the player here. We would like to have the player stay here. He was under contract. Uh, we did not expect this to last as long as it did, but uh, we're, look, we're going to be second guessed until the cows come home on this. I understand that, but uh, bottom line is we did do our due diligence. There was a standoff, and he got a a great contract from the Bears. A great contract. And like I say, sometimes, bro, sometimes you got to sacrifice something to get somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, like I said before. If Khalil didn't show up at this amount of time, his trade his trade value will be at the highest point, and it was. And we say, you know what? We're not giving him to the Jets because we don't want nobody on the Jets. But look, hmm, we're going to give him to the Bears. You know why? Because they stuck at the bottom of their conference, and they're not, they not going to get no better no time soon. Didn't they just get a new coach, new quarterback? They got a whole bunch of scat backs. Receiver Kevin White played his first game in like three years. They ain't got no – they defense, they got pieces or something. I don't know what they got. So they don't got nothing. So them, these next two years for these draft picks going to be looking good. And we're going to keep – hopefully we'll keep all our regular picks that we had, that we're going to have in the first round. So that's four first-round picks for the next two years for Khalil Mack. I like it. That's four players, bro. If we pick right, that's four players that can come in and, and make an impact. You know what I'm saying? We could feel both sides of the ball with, with, with them two drafts. I mean, we, we could do something. You know? I mean, as long as we don't squander them away now, we'll be all right. Now, now I will be mad if we start trading them picks for some stupid shit. But as of today, we got them picks. I, I'm okay. I'm all right with that. Let's not let's not do that though. That's one thing we don't need to do. So enjoy the snow, Khalil. Enjoy it. Have fun with Aaron Rodgers and them. We ain't gotta worry about you. Y'all ain't making it nowhere. <laughs> What's up, Andy, man? I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, me too, Ed. I'm so glad he ain't even in the conference. Oh <laughs> shoot. I don't think it was a bad deal at all. I mean, we got basically the most we could get. I mean, pretty much. So, um, get over it, Raider Nation. <laughs> the ones who still ain't over it, get over it, bro. We the Raiders. It's about the Raiders, bro. Whoever don't want to be down, they can get the hell out. That go for the Raider Nation, players, anybody, management, Anybody, Chucky putting it out there like, bro, you can get cut during the season. So um, it's just like I say, man, I'm a writer, bro. I'm I'm not tied. I'm I don't tie myself mentally down like that. I'm willing to walk away from shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I chose to ride with this team. It's about it's about all the other players that's left. It's about the players that we do got. It's about the players that want to be here. You know what I'm saying? That want to be writers, bro. That's what it's about. It's not about motherfuckers who was writers and then was like, hey, if you don't do this for me right now, then I'm gone. Well, take your ass on. Take your chest on. Shit. Physically, I mean, the Bears just had a linebacker show up after missing a lot of camp and get a hell no doubt. Yeah, um, Green Bay. I feel like I'm ready. But, you know, the game, you got to get out there and get to it. And um, my body will respond the way it's going to respond. And then the coaches are going to. Kind of ease me into it, so we're gonna figure it out. Absolutely, you said the right word, man. I told that's the first thing I told uh, Mr. Pace and Coach Nagy last night. It's, it's been a whirlwind, and um, it happened fast. And uh, but I'm blessed and I'm thankful and I'm glad to be here. When did you first? Exactly, one of the most historic in the, in the NFL. Uh, 
coming from where I came from, which is a great, great, great organization, but coming to a staple and a and a and a real, real rich uh, history based uh, uh, organization is is especially for the defensive side of the ball. Uh, it's going to be exciting and it's new, but um, I'm looking forward to it. When your holdout began, what did you hope would ultimately be accomplished through the whole process? Uh, that I get a deal. Um, and it's, it's happened, and um, I'm, I'm glad I'm here, and I'm blessed, and I, I really can't complain, man. And I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to the opportunity. When did you have a sense that it wouldn't be with Oakland? Uh, last night, yesterday, some time. Uh, yeah, it was a real sense then uh, when I got on the plane. And uh, yeah, it's been a whirlwind, but uh, it's been exciting, and um, it's new, and I'm looking forward to it, man. I really can't wait. I'm itching. I'm itching. It's been a long time since I played football. Yeah. How many teams were recruiting you that you could share? Recruiting? I don't think that's. <laughs> I don't think there's a. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, you you might have some interest. Uh, my my agent uh, Joe did a great job throughout this whole process. Uh, you know, you get you get probably get calls and here and there trying to fig- people trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, but even then, I wasn't focused on that. I let him focus on it. Uh, I just stayed on the grind and uh, wanted to be ready and. Um, just so happens the opportunity is going to come uh, next Sunday. So besides the deal, yeah. Bears, what were the alluring traits that, you know, you look at a new head coach. Yeah, um, absolutely. An aggressive general manager. Exactly. A defense with Vic Fangio. What, what lured you to this place? I mean, it's, you could say it lured, but uh, to be wanted, ah, uh, yeah. That's that's all it takes. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just it's, it's just that, that feeling that uh, they're excited to have you, uh, and uh, just understanding what's going on over here right now. Uh, it's an exciting time to be a Chicago Bear. Uh, you got a young talent, uh, and I'm um, on the defensive side of the ball. You definitely have some some dogs, and um, I'm looking forward to getting out there with them dogs. If there's anything we've ever done that I'm particularly proud of. I would have to say that the uh, perpetuation of the greatness of the Raiders to take a professional football team and give it a distinct characteristic that's different from all others. I'm going to tell you something, man. If you guys don't know how big a win that was, you'll know tomorrow. It's a hell of a win. It's a team effort. Offense, defense, special teams. Now, the effort was outstanding.